Yeah, we're <laughs> we're pretty buried. <laughs> but I dug a trail as wide as that pickup is from here to where that pickup is last night. That was a lot of digging. And ultimately is what happened was I could back up, but I I couldn't get any good steering and every time the back end would kind of barely get caught, it gets sucked right into the side of the slope and this is filled up too. So the snow here, it's only about this deep, which isn't that bad. I've been through worse, but I had no steering. And, I, and then on top of that, I don't have chains on the pickup. So the snow got real hard. And I couldn't get any traction, so I got stuck. But if you see right down here, I brought a different negotiating tool to help me get unstuck. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna just go ahead, dig this whole trail out. Enjoy watching me fight the elements again today. At least the wind's not blowing as bad. But yeah, we're <laughs> we're pretty buried. <laughs> oh gosh, it happens all the time it seems like. Nobody needs to know. Surrender to the grief. Nobody needs to know. Let go. Okay, does not seem too interested in starting. It's okay, I got a backup plan. So last night when I got home, I was thinking of all the possible things that could go wrong when I was out here by myself today trying to get this truck unstuck. I was like, well, what if the pickup runs out of fuel? I might just be out of fuel. That was pretty close to empty last night. Stupid for going out in a storm like that. Give it a little bit of encouragement. Do you guys ever feel like the world is just testing your patience? Ah. <laughs> there we go. All right, things are looking up. Man, a, fog, a really heavy fog is setting in. <laughs> I can't 
dare even make this up. You've got to be kidding me. It's pretty low on fuel and I'm parked on a pretty good hill here. Okay, if that doesn't fix it, I don't know what will. This is a one-man recovery if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Attempt number, what is this, like 27? Please start, baby, please start. Oh, yeah. I did not bring jumper cables, so hopefully the batteries stay good. Oh, no. My car will only go in reverse. How do I explain this nicely? These Chevys, or this is a GMC, I guess, but uh, the gear shifters on them are on the side of the transmission down and out so when you're running through snow and stuff they get a bunch of snow packed up in there and it'll get locked in gear or in park or neutral and right now this car is stuck in reverse on a downward climb and I'm about to climb underneath it so I'll show you what I'm talking about on these dang things let's just get it done so if you climb underneath here look right here that's just all the ice in there you gotta chip all that ice out I find some gloves too. Burr. Okay, I got it cleared out there. I'll show you what I was talking about. Oh yeah, drive easy. down pretty hard. windshield out of my tractor this year. It's the weirdest thing. I don't know what's happening. I just moved all the snow. Every every bit of snow this winter I just moved it all. Except for except for that little spot right there. And I got a shovel to do that. a truck oh my god I get out of here without getting stuck again that was an adventure only took an eight foot snow blower about 10 million scoops with a shovel and heck I didn't even have to pull that out with a chain that worked pretty slick we make something out of nothing if you believe 